How's everybody's summer? Any new significant others besides Wes's little lady? Not me. I bet Asher and Michaela are still going at it behind the scenes. My white ass is only in this position because of you. Uh, excuse, excuse you? Excuse me. My dad was perfectly happy to pay my way, but now he's dead because I chose you over him. Well, that's your version of the truth, not mine. You need some money, get a job like everyone else. I should have looked into Kareem's public defender, argued an effective assistance of counsel. My perfect press are in your face. And you want to talk about the case? Right. Stay put. We got options. Told you they were still going at it. The extender. Not that I need it. <laughs> are those from the bull in the hallway? Just one of the perks of the new crib. We're going to have to have a conversation later about but now I need to process this. Still his info. I was thinking about the drug charge. How if we could prove Kareem's public defender provided ineffective assistance of counsel. Hey, that was my idea. Except you didn't go to the public defender to record him saying this. Did you or did you not tell your client that pleading guilty would cost him his green card? I'm saying I don't know. He doesn't remember. But Padilla v. Kentucky says defense attorneys must advise clients about risks of deportation when pleading guilty. Mr. Jake, you're out. What? This part just turned this case on its head. This is Mr. Osef's felony to a misdemeanor, which makes him eligible to remain in the country. I move for his immediate release. Your Honor, Mr. Osef pled guilty to this charge months ago. Let's take a recess and I'll give my decision after. I'm going to hire him. No. I you promise you wouldn't. I promise. Do you know he deleted your Stanford acceptance? Oh, shit. And Annalise. He has the capacity to hack my files, God forbid. Point is... He's farther down the rabbit hole than we thought. You can't just expect us to be like you. I am trying. I am. But, but the idea that we're just supposed to go back to being normal, become stupid lawyers. Well, I'm not normal anymore. Oh, you were never normal. You just didn't know it until now. God, you're such a bitch. Next time you want to drink yourself silly, call me. I have a full liquor cabinet and I won't let you drive home drunk. Mr. Essef, this admission calls into question your integrity as well as everything positive that was said about you in this courtroom today. I'm going to order your deportation. Objection! The prior felony has been vacated. Sit down. Judge, there's no legal obligation. Enough. It's up to your discretion. Take the anger that you're feeling and put it into your next case. She also told me about Stanford. And that tells me that, you know, I just, I wasn't listening when you said that you didn't want to move. I was just putting my feelings before yours. It's true. I'm sorry for that. That is? I'm it? sorry. This... This isn't okay. You got to be angry. But I'm not. Well, you should be. Says who? Anybody who hears this story! This is not what a healthy relationship looks like. We're the best relationship that I know. Well, then that's really sad. How is that sad? I love you, Oliver. Seriously, that's your response to finding out I lied to you? Everyone lies no, in relationships. No, I don't. Don't be breaking up with so him. So what? I love you so much. Okay, now you're scared. Just, me. hey, let me say this. I'm different now than when we first met. <laughs> Is that my fault? It's not your fault. I just don't know who I am anymore. Well, we all go through that. Yeah, but I think it would be better for me if I went through it alone. You're saying that you, uh, do you want to take a break or something? I think we should break up. It doesn't make any sense. Oh. It's precisely because of your performance as a professor that we've made this decision. The students who work at your firm have historically graduated at the top of their class. The five from this year, however, all rank in the bottom 10%. I'm no killer, Bonnie. And God forbid I let Frank make me into one. I'm sorry. I don't want you to be sorry. I just want you to talk to me. I want that too. Well, then what's wrong? When I look at you, all I see is Frank. And I need to forget what he did. I will never forget him for what he did to you. You know that, right? Of course. And I have. I wish I didn't equate you with him. Hi. Hi. I'm Laurel. I'm Wes's friend. I was just here to drop off an outline. Wait, like THE Laurel. Wes talks about you all the time. He does? Yes. And no handshakes, I'm a hugger. Here. <laughs> hey. 
Wait a second. I found him. Well, found Frank. Okay. So who's this guy? So, Annalise. She want to have him killed? Even though she claims she's not a killer, and she won't let Frank turn her into one. Shoot. Two months later? Okay. Oh, so this was a different death. Who is it? Oh. Why does the show do this to me? All right, so this had me confused through most of it. Uh, but apparently somebody very close to Annalise is going to die. And uh, her house is completely engulfed in flames. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, this episode kind of bounced all over the place. And I really have no idea what's going on. Um, like the guy who she was texting, who the hell is he? Is he just like a private detective that she hired to try to find Frank? Um, which he did find Frank. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, Frank proceeded to maybe kill him. I'm not sure uh, if he killed him or not. I just don't know what to say about this episode. It was it was good, um, but I just don't know what to say about it. Um, Connor and Oliver uh, broke up because Oliver doesn't know who he is and he wants to find out alone. I don't. And this came after Connor forgave him for deleting a Stanford acceptance letter. Just. I didn't get it. Like, why would Oliver think that it's a bad relationship for the other person to forgive them for something bad? I mean, would he think that people who love each other and somebody does something wrong that the other person shouldn't forgive them? I just, I don't understand that at all. At all. Uh, Asher and Michaela apparently are still a thing, but, you know, behind the scenes. And Laurel and Wes um are not a thing but i think laurel wants to be even wes probably but wes is dating some chick named maggie who seems really nice that's, that's about it guys that's all i got for now um i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did please give this video a like if you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to please leave that down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye